Hello everyone and welcome to this, the first behind the scenes devlog video. So I've been filming throughout the day every single day this week and I've edited it all together into one big video which I'm about to show you in a second. On the first day, on Monday, I recorded a bit more than on the other days because I wanted to give you a bit more of an idea of my usual schedule and what I do each day. Uh, and then for the rest of the week, I just filmed the highlights as it were. Also, please, please, please let me know what you think of the video, what you'd like to see more of, what you'd like to see less of, whether the video should be longer, shorter, whether I should change the format or just scrap the series altogether. Just let me know so that I can make the changes for next time and make the experience better for everyone. But yeah, here is the video, I hope you enjoy it, and please do let me know what you think. So it is 8.30 on Monday morning, the sun is shining, it's a beautiful day outside, and I'm just about to start work for the week. So this week I've got a big to-do list which I'm working my way through, I've done some of it already, I did some last week, um, and I'm hoping to finish this off uh, in the next few days. But yeah, this is where I work, this is my desk with my laptop and my second screen, and my very uncomfortable chair and then my desk kind of spills over onto the sofa because my desk's a bit too small so I've got all of my notes here and also a couple of open GL books um, but yeah I'm about to start work and I will show you what I'm doing later on in the day so I've been programming for a couple of hours now and at this point in the day I usually take a very quick break but before I do that, I just want to test out what I've done so far. So this morning, I've been programming the server to load up all of the attack files so that the server can have all the information about all the different attacks in the game. Um, so I'm going to test that out now. I haven't tested it yet, so hopefully it will work so that I can go for my break. But apparently not. So, take two. I think it should now work. Um, so I'm going to run the server. And it has now worked. It's successfully loaded up all of the attack files uh, that were in the attack folder. So that's good. Uh, I'm going to take a break now and then I'm going to get on with doing the next tasks on the to-do list. So I've just been building on what I was doing earlier and now the server has all the information about any attacks that the player can do or that any of the uh, entities in the game can do. So now what I need to do is to have the server calculate whether an attack has hit an entity or a player and then to calculate how much damage it would do and then to transmit that damage uh, to all the clients. I've been working on the server-side attacks for about an hour now and I've got quite a lot of it done. So now when a client carries out an attack, it sends a message to the server. The server will then decode that message and then call either the fire attack or the charge attack method in the, uh, the player's attack component on the server side. And that will basically cause the attack to then be carried out on the server. So it will be updated every server tick. So it's 12.30 in the afternoon now and at this point in the day I usually stop for my lunch break uh, and I also go jogging every day at this time uh, and by every day I of course mean once or twice a week uh, if that. But today is such a lovely sunny day as you can see so I think I'm definitely going to go outside now and get a bit of exercise before lunch and then I'll continue on programming this afternoon. So okay I didn't actually go running today but I did make myself this very healthy lunch uh, so I feel like that's kind of the same thing. So I'm back to work now and I'm going to continue working on the server side attack calculations. So I just spent another hour and a half finishing off this stuff to do with the server knowing exactly which attacks the player is carrying out and I can show you that it's working now so if I carry out the beam attack here you can see that down there in the console uh, the, the server knows about it and can print out information about the attack that I'm carrying out and if I do the comet attack it says that I'm firing the comet attack and even if I switch weapons so that I have different attacks and now I do this crush attack you can see that the server knows about that as well. So it's the middle of the afternoon now and at this point in the day I usually take a very quick break uh, but when I start working again I'm going to do this task here to do with syncing movement components of entities with the server. So I'm just finishing up programming for today and for the last couple of hours I was just working on improving the way that movement components synchronize with the server and I've done that now uh, and I think it's a lot better so that's good. So I just had some dinner but I'm back to work now and every weekday evening between 8 and 10 o'clock I like to go through all of my comments and emails and messages on all the various social medias and reply to all of them so that's what I'm going to do now and I'll probably also post some updates about the game on my social media pages. 
So I'm just finishing up for the evening now. Uh, I just spent the last couple of hours answering all of my messages and comments. And I also posted an update on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram. And now I'm just doing one for IndieDB. But yeah, I'm finished for today. It's uh, 10 o'clock now. So I'm going to get a rest now. Maybe read some of my OpenGL book. And then I'm going to get to bed so that I can get up early and do it all again tomorrow. Good morning everyone, it is a lovely sunny Tuesday morning here in London and I'm just getting ready to start uh, a new day of programming. So it's coming up to lunch today, it's been a bit of a tricky morning, I haven't made a huge amount of progress. I've been looking up a load of spatial partitioning systems such as KD trees, trying to work out the best way of finding out which entities are close enough to an attack to get damaged by it, uh, and that's been a bit tricky but I think I'm getting there slowly. But anyway, I'm going to go for a run now, then I'm going to have some lunch, and then I'll be back to work this afternoon. So this afternoon I'm doing something slightly different. I'm preparing for next week's water tutorial, uh, where we're going to be rendering to FBOs, frame buff objects. Uh, so I've just been implementing that code myself, getting it all ready, working out what I'm going to be actually showing next week, um, and checking that I actually understand what's going on. So I've been checking all of my facts in the OpenGL programming guide. And yeah, I'm just going to do that for the rest of the afternoon now. So I finished planning for the tutorial for this afternoon. Um, I planned out a lot of what I'm going to say, I planned out some diagrams, I got all the code working, and I read up loads and loads about frame buffer objects to make sure that I understand them fully so that I can explain them to people. Uh, and now I think I'm going to do a bit more work uh, on the game for the last hour, because it's almost 5 o'clock, so I'll work for one more hour until 6, um, doing some more stuff with the attacks. So I'm just finishing off programming today. I've started programming the whole system on the server side that's going to handle all of these attacks and work out when an attack has hit a player. Um, and that's going quite well. So I'm going to stop for dinner now, then I'm going to answer some emails, and then I'll be done for today. It is Wednesday, it's another lovely sunny morning here, um, and today I've got a load of programming to do because I want to get as much PvP supported in the game as possible before Friday's devlog. So, so far today I haven't actually done any programming yet, I've just spent the whole morning planning out exactly how I'm going to be managing these attacks uh, on the server side, because it's actually pretty complicated, there are so many different types of attacks, some explode, some produce projectiles which then need to be checked for collision detection, and of course synchronised with the clients. Um, so it's, it's all pretty complicated and it needs to be done efficiently, obviously, on the server. So I've just been spending a long time planning that out, and now I think I am finally ready to start programming it. So I'm going to do that and hopefully get a decent amount done before lunch. So I have now stopped for lunch. Uh, I've been working a lot on that, on implementing that system that I showed you earlier, and I've got the main structure programmed already, and now I need to do the calculations for the specific attack types, so I'll start off with the simple melee attacks after lunch. So after a lot of work, I have finally got the server to recognise when uh, a player is hit by a simple melee attack. So if I attack this guy here with my punch attack, you can see that down there in the console the server is acknowledging the fact uh, that the attack has been successful. So now what I need to do is to get the server to send that information back to the clients so that they can display uh, the player getting damaged. So I have now got the simple melee attacks to work fully uh, in multiplayer, so when I attack this player here you can see that the player gets damaged and that the damage shows up uh, on both clients here. So that's all working, I've got a few more things just to tidy up and then I'll move on to the other combat types. So it's like 20 past 8 at the moment and I really should be doing my emails right now uh, but I just wanted to very quickly create a new attack animation for the game because all of the attack animations in the game at the moment are pretty bad um, so I wanted to have a nice one for the devlog on Friday to show off all the new combat stuff. So I'm doing that now and then I will do my emails in a minute. So I just added the attack animation into the game, and I will demonstrate it now by attacking these skeletons here. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with it, I think it looks fine. So that's all I'm going to do for today on the game, I'm going to answer my emails now, and then tomorrow I'm going to be improving the calculation used to calculate whether these melee attacks hit the enemy. So it is Thursday morning, the sky has gone back to its usual grey colour, and I've got a load of work to do today because today is the last day that I can do any programming before I have to make the devlog tomorrow. Uh, so I want to get as much of the combat done as possible today. So far this morning I've been working out the calculations needed to accurately determine whether a player has been hit 
uh, by a player's melee attack. And I'm just about to put this into the code now. So I just finished implementing all of those calculations in the code and I can now show you that it works in the game as well. So as you can see here, the other player doesn't take damage unless I aim directly at him. So basically what's going on here is that the area of effect of these melee attacks now looks something like this, where the range and the angle here depend on the attack. I was originally going to use this slightly simplified version, uh, but when I tested it out in the game it didn't quite feel right. I often felt like I should be hitting players that were like here when they were really close to the player, but you, you didn't quite hit them because they were slightly outside this range. Um, so I changed it to this, which is slightly more lenient when it comes to hitting close by players. So right now I'm working on damage calculations, because until now I've just been randomly generating those damage numbers, um, but obviously I want the damage to be based off your player's stats and the player's equipment and your opponent's equipment and stats as well. So I've been adding a new component to my component-based architecture, which is the stats component, which allows you to give uh, an entity some stats, which can then be used to calculate damage in combat. So I've just been adding that to the client, to the server, and now I'm adding it to the uh, entity editor here. So I finished off the stats component in the entity editor, you can now set all the different stats for a mob. Um, so now I can use these stats in the damage calculations. I've just finished doing the attack calculations now and it's all working nicely so the damage done by an attack is now based on the attack power and your stats and your equipment stats and your opponent's stats um, so it all works very nicely. So that's done for today I'm gonna go and answer some comments and stuff now and then I will get to bed. It is 8.30 on Friday morning and today of course I'm just going to be making the devlog. So I planned out the devlog this morning, I recorded everything that I want to say in the devlog and I've just finished editing it all together, all the audio together, and now I'm planning out what footage I want to show at different parts of the video, um, and I'm just about to start recording that footage. So I just finished recording the devlog, it actually took quite a while today, uh, it's already quarter to six in the evening, so I only have 45 more minutes um, to do all the annotations and upload it and stuff, um, so I'm going to do that now, and then I'm going to have a bit of a rest. So I've uploaded the devlog, I've done all the settings, and it is finally ready to go live, so I'm going to publish it right now, and there we go. So that's all done, I'm going to have a bit of a rest now, uh, and then I'm going to do some answering emails later. So to finish the day off, I've just been answering a few more emails, and I'm also currently editing the video that you're watching at the moment, the behind the scenes video that's going up tomorrow. Um, I'm just doing a bit of editing now so that I don't have to do so much tomorrow because I also want to work on the attacks a bit more tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm just finishing off for today now. It is Saturday morning, I'm just starting work for today, a little bit later than usual because it's the weekend. And this morning I'm just going to be editing this video a bit more, uh, it shouldn't take too long, and then I'm going to go back and do some more work on the attacks. So I'm just about to stop for lunch now, I've been editing the behind the scenes video and I'm pretty much done with that now, I just need to add in the footage for today which obviously I can't do quite yet. Uh, and then this afternoon I might work a bit more on the attacks or seeing as it's the weekend I might take a little bit of a break from programming and texture some more models for the game uh, because that's always a bit more relaxing, um, but we'll see. So it's coming up to four o'clock and I'm just texturing this lovely oak tree model which was sent in to me by Eric Quick, so I'm creating a texture for it and I'm texturing it, uh, and I'm about to do the final bit of editing for today's video, and then I'm going to upload that. Just very quickly before I have to edit this video together and upload it, I finished texturing the tree and it is looking very lovely. So that was it for this week, I hope you enjoyed the video and as I said at the beginning please do give me any feedback that you have about what you'd like to see next time. These behind the scenes videos will be out every two weeks on Saturdays now, so the next one will be out on the 9th of May. Don't forget to follow me on any of my social media sites for more updates about the game, links are in the description below, but yeah thank you guys very much for watching this video, do subscribe if you haven't already, have a fantastic week, and I will see you all next time.